Okay, time for another Banggood kit. Um, another clock, unsurprisingly. Let me zoom out a bit here, a little bit close in. And uh, this is a very simple one actually, so this won't take too long to throw together. Um, so let's get everything out. Uh, neat little board. We have surface mount on that uh, chip there. Um, not too bad in terms of spacing. Um, but that one there might be a little bit trickier, but we'll have a look. And uh, we have the destructions, um, which, yeah, we won't worry about that just for the moment. Um, let's have a look at the components. We've got some socketed uh, uh, chips, STC ones, uh, very typical of these sorts of kits and a bag of bits let's have a look at the bits okay we have a couple of no, ugh, that one's stuck to it now that is a is that going to focus let's see if it will focus for me yeah that is a thermistor uh, and that will be for telling the temperature room temperature they're never very accurate. Uh, I think you can adjust and calibrate them um, to try and increase their accuracy. Um, so <clears throat> basically, I think what they tend to do is that they can monitor changes in temperature, but the seeding temperature, and, and in other words, the starting temperature, I don't think it can detect. Once you've told it what the actual temperature is, then as the temperature goes up and down, it'll detect that. That is what I believe the situation is. Um, LED or else uh, LED screen, um, and the green sticker means that this is a green LED. Um, all fairly straightforward. As is always the case with these, very heavily potted, um, solidly done and these are usually nice and bright these LEDs so we shall see um, nuts and bolts they will be for constructing the case and the case is in uh, this bag and the brown paper on it is just protective film which you remove before assembly so uh, we'll have a look at that when we get to that stage and uh, what else we got a couple of uh, momentary switches for setting time date and all that sort of stuff um, 12, uh, 5 volt jack because well just a jack really voltage doesn't come into it but it is uh, USB powered so 5 volts and I don't know what the current drawer of these is actually ought to measure it but it's absolutely nothing it, very very tiny amount of current these draw and being LEDs Couple more bolts, <clears throat> uh, resistors, which are all exactly the same value. Um, off the top of my head, I don't know what they are, but the good thing is, is if that we don't need to worry about um, detecting which resistor goes where because they're all the same value. And we have a photoelectric cell, which means that when it gets dark, the display will dim. We have a battery holder, which will, that's a CR1220 battery holder. No battery supplied, which is annoying, um, which they, you know, I, I've mentioned this before, they, they have been supplying them in the past. For some reason they've stopped, I don't know why. There you go. And the obligatory, incredibly annoying buzzer. And I swear every time I make one of these kits that I'm not going to install the buzzer because I'm not going to use the alarms. I use my phone for that. In other words, a device I can trust. Um, and then we've got some ceramic caps. 104. A couple of 22 picofarads. And finally, the reference crystal. Uh, to spin everything around at the right frequency. Um, and look on there, there we are. No markings on there are no markings on the can at all. So 
I don't know what frequency they're on at. <clears throat> and let's have a closer look at the board. So fair few through hole components, some surface mount. Um, and uh, I just suddenly realized something. So we've got, oh, we've got through hole ICs, but if I'm not much mistaken, those are surface mount. I think, have they sent me the wrong board? All the wrong components. I mean, there's just no way you're going to fit that chip onto that board. Look at that. Everything else is pretty much the same. There's the photoelectric cell. There's actually one, two, three, four resistors there. And they've only provided with... Three. Well, how annoying is that? Answer, very, I think. Three capacitors. So, let's have a look at... Let's have a look at the circuit diagram. There we go. And as you can see, that is not the same circuit. It's pretty much the same. It's almost the same. <clears throat> but obviously they've got a through hole version and a surface mount version, as far as the main chips are concerned. Um, unless I am going absolutely potty. No, I don't think I am. That's the wrong board. Well, that's a shame. How silly is that? Now, these kits are very, very cheap. And you're talking about a few pounds, so frankly, phew. I'm not going to get uptight about it. Um, it's just a little bit annoying. But fortunately, I have some other kits that need to be built um, because I had a bit of a run on um, buying kits from Banggood. And I have to say, and here's the last one. There we go. We'll do all of these instead. That is rather distressing. But what can you say? What can you do? Well, there it is. Um, they are actually nice little clocks. I've made, I've made, um, I'll tell you what. So, oops, sorry guys. I threw you about there. Um, so you don't treat this as a complete and utter failure. Or I don't treat it as a complete and utter failure. You'll treat it whatever way you see fit. But, um, let me uh, see if I can find one that I made earlier. And in order to do that, I need a power supply, which is the same cable as I've just shown you there. <coughs> and this is basically what they'll end up looking like in their uh, ceramic cases. When we look on the back, you can see you've got the two, uh, I mean, this is a slightly different, the two ICs, the, the, the socketed ICs, um, but this is clearly a slightly different kit, or is it? No, actually, I think that's the same one, yep. Yeah, it's just the board's wrong. They've sent me the wrong board. 
Um, but never mind. Any rate, so what does it look like when it's powered on? Um, and there's the uh, the backup battery for say CR one two two zero. Um, so let's power it on. This one is a I think a blue LED. This one, yes. There you go. So what it's doing, showing you the time. It might look a bit flickery on screen, but um, that is a very deep blue. Um, it's actually a rather nice blue. I quite like it, but it's not the easiest to see. Um, it has to be said. Um, but there you go, it's showing the time, it's flickering away quite happily. And just to show you how completely sad I am. Oops. Here's another one, exactly the same. Um, I wanted a green one, which is what this is. But it's not, because it's the wrong board. Uh, so we get rid of that, and I'll show you what the green one is. Uh, sorry, red. This is red, this one. I'm pretty sure it's red. Yeah, red. That is, again, it's a very deep, bright red, and that one's very nice. It's, um, again, it looks horrible. I don't know if switching the light off would improve things a bit. It'll probably just make it look white. But you can see the reflection of the red on my hand a bit there. Um, but... Uh, yeah, they are actually pretty accurate. Much of it should be, really. It's not exactly sophisticated technology. But uh, the camera isn't doing it justice. That is a really, really deep, lush red. And I do like these LEDs. I have had an LED go down on another kit that I built for my daughter, which one of the digits went, which is unfortunate. So I just built her another one. And they're dirt cheap. They really are cheap. Um, and they're just a bit of fun to make, so uh, let's put the lights back on. Uh, well, there we go. Um, well, I'm very sorry that we couldn't build this one uh, because I don't have the right board for it. I'll hang on to these bits, they're always useful for spares, I guess. So, if I do get an LED go down on one of these other kits, I have a spare and it will be green, and that'll be exciting because I don't have a green one, and I still don't have a green one. We're not working at any rate. So with that complete fail, um, I will call it a day there and um, think about which kit we will have a go at next. Um, obviously not this one. So there you go. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you again on the next one. Cheers.